Hey everyone, Ross Day Prepper here. Today I'm going to be going over a DIY uh, budget uh, snow um, camo suit or ghillie suit if you want to call it. So usually with snow style ghillie suits you can either do the real ghillie suit all in white uh, or you can go with this style which basically militaries do the same thing. It's basically like a windbreaker type material and you just throw it over your winter clothing and then this way you can take it on and off. Um, they also make just white helmet covers and most of them are just plain white just like this coverall. Uh, when you start getting into the multicam stuff it's like a gray uh, mixed in and then you can go with the hunting real tree stuff which is uh, white with the branches and stuff like that. So today we're going to kind of make uh, a mix of the two. So right here we have just a painter's uh, Tyvek suit with without the hood without the hood now I would recommend if you're planning on using this for winter uh, go like two sizes up so you can put winter clothing underneath so these are about uh, thirteen dollars each uh, they come in a case of five or you can go to the hardware store and buy them individually so we're going to be starting up this it does have the elastic uh, wrist and it does have booties um, built in we're going to cut those off though I also went with this, so this is a Tyvek hood covering, uh, they use them for painting or sandblasting. Uh, the nice thing with this is it covers your whole neck uh, perfect if you're wearing a helmet, so this is just a cheap bump helmet here. So it just fits in there nice, because it's so big, you can wear this over your helmet. So these run around like three dollars or so each. I'm also beginning using uh, this spray paint here, just some gray, some green, and then some dark brown. So as you can see, I already painted this. So basically, what I did was I used a some broom, and I kind of wanted to go with the mix of the real tree with the multi cam pattern stuff. So I used. Uh, piece of cardboard and the green and the brown spray paint put it on a piece of cardboard rub this in it and then just brush it to kind of give it a pine tree look in a sense and then I took the gray and this is just a uh, cut up gym bag it's like a mesh I just laid that down and you just take that and spray it so it just kind of gives it, if you can look closely, you can kind of see the brush with the bit of the uh, gray in between. Just kind of looks like a dirty, dirty snow. But the nice thing about this is from afar it looks white, but up close you can kind of see the pattern of it. So it kind of breaks it up a little bit nicer. Now if you don't want to do that and you have a normal ghillie suit and it's green or whatever color and you want to make it winter, another option is this. So basically this is just uh, like a bed sheet or a blanket, just a white one, and I cut them up. So I have a helmet cover, and with the elastics, I just tied it to those elastics. So it just kind of breaks up the color a bit, and you could also do that to a normal ghillie suit. So the way I like to do it is I just kind of weave it in on itself. So I'll show you here. So these are probably about 14 inches or so, and they don't have to be perfect. So I just fold it in half, take that hoop, run it under, and put these the pieces right back through on itself and pull. And that just tightens it down. You don't have to worry about it coming off. And I like to do that with all my ghillie suit when I was building it. Um, I like to do that because it's easy to uh, switch out. You can also add uh, colors like this. But as you can see, this just kind of breaks up the pattern, right? Like it's not because this is a black helmet cover. So that would stick out a lot in the snow. So just put some of this, blends it in a bit, and quick and easy. It takes like five minutes to take it all off, not even. So that's another option. So now we're going to go outside and we're going to spray paint the suit and uh, test it out. Okay, we're going to get started on painting this now. So we'll start off with some uh, some green. Like I said before, I've just got a piece of uh, wood here I'm using. Put the 
green on the board. Get my broom in it. Just kind of rake it across. You just want to kind of get it all over the place. See, it's starting to look somewhat dirty now, which is good. That's what we want. And that's just the, just the green. A bit more new legs. So there's the green. Now we'll do some uh, some brown. I'm not going as heavy on the brown since as it's uh, a little bit darker. I don't want to stand out too much. So just a few splotches you can see. Next, we are going to go on to the gray. And you can see I have my mesh. So basically, all I do is lay it on, do a strip, lay it on here. There. Quick misting, nothing too crazy. You can even stand back if you want to and get a, a bit more instead of doing the lines like those ones there. If you stand back and get quite missed, you can see it a bit better. One here, some legs. there all right so here's the uh what it kind of looks like finished obviously i have to do the uh the back side but you can just take a look kind of breaks it up here's a comparison to just if it was all white you can see how much it kind of stands out even with the the snow right now that you can see it's dirt and rocks and stuff you can see it blends in a bit more a little bit better so we'll do the back side and then we'll uh we'll compare them hey everyone ross a purple here today we're going to be going over a uh, snow camo so right here i have a uh, canadian military issued uh winter warfare kit so basically all it is is a uh, parka line or cover so we got the white cover for the pants, the jacket, the balaclava, and then also the white helmet cover. I am missing the uh, gloves, but uh, we're going to test it out here in the snowy field. Then we're going to hit in the woods and uh, see how it works from there. And we're going to be comparing it to my uh, uh, snow camo suit I uh, painted and made out of a Tyvek suit. So let's get started.
now that we're done the field test, we're going to go into the woods here. I am going to ditch the uh, the white jacket cover because in my time in the military, uh, this is more of an Arctic, you know, if you're out wide open, you want to wear this. But in the woods, we always wore the white pants to blend in with the ground and then the cat pat jacket to match with the, uh, the trees there. So we're going to do the same test, except this time I'm going to be wearing the uh, issued kit. But I am going to wear, be wearing the full Tyvek suit just for comparison. So now it's time for that test. All right, everyone. So here's the Tyvek suit. Um, you can see I painted it. It's all painted. I did the hood. So we're going to be comparing this uh, out in the field just like the other one. And we'll see how this works. I'm thinking this may work a bit better. It's kind of a dirty look, kind of like this field, like there's uh, parts of grass still sticking out. But uh, we'll test it out and see if it's better than the issue kit in this environment. So let's. All right, one more test I want to do before we move into the woods is helmets. So you see me wear this one. It was the uh, standard issue uh, Canadian Army uh, helmet, so I got the white snow cover. And then this one here is my own uh, ballistic helmet, but I cut uh, some cotton sheets and laid them on top, kind of like a ghillie suit. So I'm going to place these out not too far. We'll walk by them and we'll see which one kind of sticks out better and which one's more camouflaged. Just a curious test, it's uh, nothing fancy. You can see here, I showed it in the other earlier, but uh, it's got a black helmet cover and then I just took these sheets and laced them around the bungees. So uh, we'll see how this works and uh, how it stands to just a standard white uh, helmet cover. Okay, in this clump, from be here over to there, there's two helmets. Uh, I'll let you guys pause the video if you want and see if you can spot them. So right now we're going to walk by. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, we'll see them I guess. There's the standard uh, white helmet. And there is the uh, ballistic helmet with the sheets cut up on it. So personally, I think this one kind of is a bit better. That one's just too white. You can notice it right off the bat. It's a different shade of white. It's almost like a bluish color. But this one kind of breaks it off. Kind of blends in with this dark pieces of grass where the, the snow is not packed down yet. So all right, let's hit the woods. All right, now we're gonna go through just up in here. I'm gonna walk by through the past the road, the little path there, and then I'm gonna come up a bit in the trees, and we'll see how bad I stand out, and then we'll compare it to the uh, army issued uh, snow gear. So let's get to it. Alright, so now we just did the Tyvek suit. Now we're going to be doing the uh, Cadpat jacket with the uh, just winter uh, 
pant coverings and uh, we'll see how this compares.